Hi guys! For those of you who don't know me, I'm Amelia's sister Hannah. You may have seen me in vlogs or sister tags. And I'm doing a little Hannah takeover on how to show you guys to get some curly hair tutorial <laughs> type <laughs> stuff. <laughs> So loads of you guys have been asking, either on Amelia's channel or on my Instagram, how you can curl your hair like this. So if you wanna know, just keep watching. So this is kind of like my natural hair. I washed it last night. It's very kind of like beach wavy. It kind of looks like I've crimped it. This is the straightener I always use. I never use a different one. It's Jose Eber, and it has like the different kind of temperatures up here. I've tried like the curling tongs, but they didn't really have the same effect on me, so I just stick to these kind of all the time. I always put it on the hottest heat, just by habit maybe. And then I just washed my hair last night and put on some heat protector and then just went, went to bed. So I prefer to do it on like next day hair. I feel that it like stays more maybe, it has like a bit more grip. First, I kind of split my hair down the middle just to part it so I know how much I have to do. And then I like to start with like the hair kind of like more at the back of my head and then move towards the front just because I feel like it's harder to reach the ones at the back once you've done the ones at the front. Get a bit here that I want to do and then kind of twirl this bit and clip it up at the top of my head to get it out of the way. Step one is just holding the hair in between the tongs. I twist the hair around with the straighteners away from my face to create the first curl. And then I wrap the hair around the straightener to get it out the way. And then I twist the straightener around again as much as you can. And you can hold the piece of hair with your hand if you want to keep the hair really tight as you're pulling the straightener away from your face. I find that holding the hair tight makes the curl tighter. And then you slowly twist it until you get to the bottom. The slower you take curling your hair, the longer it will hold because you're applying more heat. And I just keep twisting the hair back on itself. And the more you twist it, the curlier it can be. Now that I've done kind of the more back bits of my hair and I'm now moving towards the front ones, the front ones I kind of straighten them like upwards just because I feel like it gives it a bit more volume. I feel like if you straighten it out to the side it'll just kind of like fall down. You take smaller sections and then you just straighten them upwards like this. When I get to the front of my hair, I, I hold the curls even tighter so that the front of my hair is always curlier than the rest. And then 
when I'm done, I just kind of like run my hands through my hair to separate all the curls. I don't really brush my hair, I just kind of leave it like this. And then after like an hour or two, the curls will kind of drop and like start looking a bit more natural, especially after I've like slept or something like that. They just look a bit more kind of like fluid. the finished look that I do all the time. I hope you guys like it and have kind of like understood how I do it with the whole twisting motion. I think it takes a couple times to really get it and make sure the hair is really like tight when you're doing it otherwise it won't really work. So if you just kind of like practice and practice it, you can even practice it with straighteners when they're not turned on just so you get the whole motion without kind of like damaging your hair. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it and have enjoyed seeing the curls and I'll see you soon. Hi! Hello! Hi. <laughs> Who's pumped for lunch? Me and Masula! <laughs> today has been the day of the big, today is the day of the big celebration for my parents. Hi. This is where everything looks nice and neat. Probably the only place in my bathroom where everything's neat. Here are my little hand wash and hand lotion things. These are like the fancy ones when people come and I put them nice to make them pretty. <laughs>